G'day, welcome to Nick's Narrowboat. Uh, so I thought I'd take you on a bit of a tour of my narrowboat. Now this is a bit of an unusual tour because I'm gonna, I've been living on the boat for about a year and a half now. So I've got a good understanding of the boat and what I'd like, what I don't like, what I want to change, all that sort of stuff. So shall we? So for those of you who are fresh to the channel who may not know me, this is a 62 foot Jonathan Wilson traditional style narrowboat. Uh, it's about 30 years old, um, all original interior. Um, so I've been living on it now for about 18 months. Um, it's been it's been an incredible journey, um, learning about the boat, learning what systems do, what works, what doesn't work. Um, and so now I'm just I, I know exactly what I want. And so for the next two to three years. This is my baby. This is my new project that I'm going to be working on. So let's go on a tour. So we've got the well deck. Still one of my favourite areas in the boat, especially over summer. Um, although I have actually thought about removing the canopy completely and installing a new, kind of like a, an atrium, I guess, if you like, or a, um, a sunroom, glass house sort of thing. You know, I have seen them and they're really I saw this one boat and it had it was made with pallets and it was all this area around here was enclosed and it had a door each side here and the whole thing this whole area was enclosed it was a lovely greenhouse space uh, yeah so that's what I'm considering doing for that because it is a really lovely space um so coming inside oh do you like my garden by the way <laughs> there's my little solar powered water fountain um anyway so Moving in, so this is a saloon, the main part of the boat, right? Um, as it is currently. Um, there's a lot of space, but I, what I want to do is actually reverse the layout of this boat. Okay, so I'm going to put the bed up here. In fact, I have thought of an idea where I'm going to, um, I want to use the full width of the boat. So I had thought about an idea of putting a mezzanine uh, about four foot out to here um, because I've got two foot of space underneath the stairs. So the water tank's there and then I've got about two feet of space sort of where the, where the rug is, um, where the mat is. Um, so I've got about two feet of space. So six feet would make the length of a bed. But I want to fit in a king size bed. <laughs> the only way I can do this by having a full size, you know, king size bed in this space is if I have a like um uh roll it out sort of thing. So I'm gonna have like the bed that rolls under the, the mezzanine level and then rolls out when I need it. It's kind of the only way I can think of doing a a, a king. The bedding's been a bit I'll get to her bedroom in a minute, but um, it hasn't been the best. I don't sleep that well. Um, so, in fact, that's actually been the most comfortable. That's that uh, futon sofa has been the most comfortable. Uh, so, moving right into so this used to be the settee. As you can see, I've reorganised it to suit myself. This will, when Charlie leaves. Um, Charlie's here on a holiday. Once he leaves, uh, this will essentially become my studio apartment. Um, basically half the boat while I renovate the rest. So I'm going to do it in sections. First up, so this is my galley. I hate this galley. Absolutely. Uh, the, the layout of this galley. For a start, you've only got like this small little narrow corridor to kind of squeeze through. And it gets worse when you get down here. Um, cook is in the wrong spot. I hate, absolutely hate having a fridge under the counter. So where possible, everything's going to be waist height. Uh, I'm contemplating getting another, um, uh, top loading washing machine because I'm sick of twisting and turning and bending down. Like this fridge is an absolute disaster. You know, you got to crouch down and to f you can't find anything. It does my head in. So I'm going to lift that up to waist slash chest height. All this is gonna go. Um, I'm basically gonna make it all open plan, the whole lot. That is an abomination that I'm talking about, the bathroom. 
absolute abomination. It, it's the first thing it's going to go, um, pretty much. So, but look, look at this corridor. It's so I have to like, I have to turn sideways just to get through myself. And I'm not big by any means, you know. Yeah. So the bathroom, absolute disaster. This is all, all of it's going. Bathtub, everything. Um, and then this bloody bedroom. So. Well, I have tried everything. I've tried memory foam. I've tried these arena springs, right? Um, I just still cannot. So these are two singles. Now, the width of two singles actually makes up um, a king size, the width of a king size, just not the length. So we would be sleeping on this for the best part of a year, but these are you can, they're awful. It, it, you can feel the springs. It just, yeah, it's awful. So my idea is to completely remove that bulkhead uh, and bring the whole thing forward to maybe all that, where that sort of picture is. So I've got about four feet of space that's gonna become my workshop. Because one thing that shits me is, I, I just, I've got four, five tool bags full of tools that are just everywhere and it annoys the crap out of me. Um, I want, tools that I can find when I need them, you know, instead of being somewhere in boxes, somewhere in toolboxes, oh, it just drives me mental. So I've decided to make myself a workshop. I have everything organized and placed and, and hopefully a um, bit easier access to the engine bay. So it's going to be like engine bay slash workshop um, and redo all the electrics. The electrics in this boat, now that up there is actually my 12 volt system looks like a dog's breakfast but um i can assure you it's all fused it's everything it's got isolation switches and all the rest of it but it's a dog's breakfast it's i've retrofitted the whole thing um so i'm going to replace the wiring the original wiring here is just awful it's the fuse box it's, nothing's labeled i don't know what fuse goes where so i'm going to rip everything out and start over redo the wiring redo the plumbing um as for the plumbing central heating is going and getting rid of all that all the copper getting rid of it all uh and replacing it with decided to replace it with uh, a diesel air heater uh and a diesel hot water heater uh planar i think are the the uh the brand that i think i'm gonna go for i've heard i've had no end of trouble with the robusto i've got two of them i've got one that did work that doesn't and i've got a second one that i bought as a spare um but from the comments i've been hearing from people and conversations i've had they're more hassle than they're worth um so i'm getting rid of it getting rid of the webasto and replacing it with as i said hot air heater and hot water heater two separate units um and i'm also going to try and duct the heating so i'll have the heating unit up here but i'm going to duct it all through the ceiling uh, much more efficient way of heating the boat. I'm still going to have my stove, um, but I'm going to move it to the center of the boat, not at the front. Um, so that's that. Um, oh yeah, that was Duncan's office, uh, which worked pretty well, actually. It was just like I said before, 4G was a bit of an issue. So, um, But yeah, all this is going. Open up, I'm going to open up the entire boat. So... This whole area now will become the living space. Um, and I was thinking about actually putting in uh, like the kitchen sink here. So when you open the open the hatch and doing the dishes and cooking and stuff, you've got this lovely, lovely view. So that's where the, the galley, so where the bathroom is essentially is where the galley is going to go. But it's all going to be one open plan. It's not going to be, there's not going to be walls. This bloody annoys me. Oh. Cassette toilet, that's going as well. Um, I'm actually going to uh, probably make a compost toilet and um, I've got space on the roof. I'm actually going to properly compost my human waste. Now the CRT, um, there's been a lot of controversy over compost toilets the past, the past year. The CRT have now um, issued a directive that if you are gonna buy install a composting loo on your boat you need to be able to compost fully like properly so i've got the storage up on top of the roof i'm gonna put i'm gonna have storage containers for each month 
uh, and I'm actually going to properly compost. So at the end of the 12 months, all I have to do is dig a hole and dispose of it or grow flowers from it. Um, but you need a full 12 months to do that. That's properly composting. Okay, and that's that's the directive from the Canal River Trust. Okay, you can't just bag and bin it anymore. All right, so um, that's that's what I'm going to do. But I'll share all this eventually. Um, so yeah, this is all going to be um, uh, for Gally. Gally's going to be yeah, all separate. Um, yeah, new kitchen sink, new cooker. Um, I'm going to raise also. I'm going to raise the. Um, uh, the benches up to the level of the gunnels because you know, see that space underneath there? It's the same on this side, like that. It's such wasted space, you can't put anything underneath there. It's so stupid how, how they do this. I mean, I love gunnels, you know, because they're, they're the necessity part of the necessary part of the boat, but the space it creates that little cavity awful. So, I'm going to raise the benches up. So they're sitting at about 105, 107 centimetres high. And then have all my, um, um, you know, fridge. I want my fridge to be kind of, yeah, chest tight. So I can kind of open the door and see all my stuff, you know? Rather than crouching down like I'm constantly doing. Same with the oven. Like, who in their right mind decided to put an oven there with a door opening this way? How bloody stupid! So that's all going. <laughs> Getting rid of that. Uh, and then where the settee is now will be the walkthrough bathroom. Um, I am considering installing a bath um, because I have a massive water tank. Uh, and also, I'm actually thinking about installing a reverse osmosis water filtration system. Uh, so I'll be able to have fresh drinking water and I can pump it straight from the canal. Um, which actually kind of sits better because, yeah, I can produce water on demand. Um, and then this is going to be the bedroom, essentially. Um, and yeah, so that's, that's what, that's what I'm going to be doing. I, it's a lot of work. As you can see, there's a lot of work, but, um, that's my plan. Uh, it needs, it needs doing. It needs to look at the old carpet and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to strip all the wood back to bare, bare timber as well. Um, ever since I was at school, I've always had an inspiration to design like a log cabin. So that's my inspiration, log cabin. Think country style kitchen, country style bathroom, uh, lots of natural timber and all that kind of stuff. So that's, my, that's what I'm going to do, log cabin style narrowboat. Um, but uh, I'll keep it posted, so subscribe. And um, I keep posted about it. So the renovation is going to start uh, towards the, well, probably the beginning of October. Um, and then uh, we'll go from there. So if you've got any questions, I have switched comments back on. If you've got any questions, sing out below.